Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas, and today's review is on the Puddlefish by Lost Surfboards. Now the Puddlefish is a spin-off of the Puddle Jumper, and as you can see, it has more of a fish type outline. And the whole concept behind this board is to have fun in small waves. So they're looking for maximizing speed, paddling, and it happened at the perfect time for me because we, had, we were starved for waves for three weeks. And what I'm looking for is motivation to go out there and surf one to three foot waves. This board is super fast. I had a lot of fun and I can't wait to dive into this review. So sit back and enjoy the show. So now I wanna start with the bottom contours of this board, but I wanna start in the tail because I believe that's what makes this board so unique. So we'll start with the channel back here, which they're calling a release channel. It's pretty deep and it runs to about right here in the side fins, about midway. Now channels in general, um, they're directing water flow, they're increasing speed, and they have a bit of traction to them. Now this channel sits inside the double concave V panels. So now with my ruler set like this, you can see that the ruler's not touching either of the panels, but it will actually teeter back and forth, which is, makes it great transition from rail to rail smoothly, and it'll also give me traction. But as we run up here and we start to look at what it's doing, you can see that, that that release channel is gonna bring a bunch of water through there, create lift and give it tons of drive. And as we come in through here, this is where the channels stop. And you can see there's still a little bit of double there. And then we're coming into a single concave. Now there's not much rail rocker up here. So that's gonna give me a lot to drive also. And then as we finish out with that single concave, this bottom contour is what makes this board so fast. So looking at rocker on this board, it's relatively flat. And that's what we need when we're surfing small waves. We're looking for that get up and go drive right off the, off the takeoff. And we're also looking for maximizing paddling. So wide point front from center is, is important. And they're carrying a lot of volume up here. So it's good for paddling at 5'2". I mean, this thing paddles great and it wants to project down the line and that's what this board felt really good no matter what i was doing i felt like it had a lot of speed whether it was in waist high surf or even overhead so one thing i like about the tail is that they thinned it out meaning i can sink it quick and get it to do what i want to do the other thing is they pulled in the tail a little bit so it's reducing surface area and getting it to turn quickly but one thing I think is really important to remember, this is what Matt was looking for with it matching any other type of fish stock board down the line speed, but then it has the traction that you're looking for in the small wave, so it's not, the tail's not kind of getting slidey or loose on you when you don't want it to. But let's look at where we're getting the traction from. Now, if you look at the tail here, it's got a square tail right here, and that is gonna act as a pivot point, and it's gonna give me traction. It has an inverted swallowtail, and then you're also getting traction from the release channel. These things working together give me that control I'm looking for. Now I wanna talk about the construction of this board. This is what Lost calls the carbon wrap. It starts with a stringerless EPS core, and they're using carbon strips along the bottom here to control and manipulate flex. Now the bottom is to manipulate and control torsion flex. That's how the board twists and, and responds and rebounds back to its normal place. So now as those carbon strips come around from the bottom to the top, it's gonna do a couple things for me. It's gonna give me the strength I need here and here, but right here, this board's gonna, that's where the board's gonna flex in and out of turns and go back to its natural state. And that's what makes this board feel so lively under my feet. Now, they also have this carbon here, which is what is the spine of the board. So things twist and turn around that. And it's also flexing when I'm going down the line and springing back, flexing, springing back. And that's also giving me drive. So they also have what they call X glass. And that's the glass laying across the whole deck of the board at 45 degree angles, as opposed to a zero and 90 degree. And that's also helping with torsion flex and giving me strength. Now, I rode this board a bunch and I'm riding it on small waves. So I'm pounding on the board and there is very little pressure dents here. So the construction and the durability is great. So now I wanna talk about the fins I chose. 
I chose the reactor quads for a couple of reasons. Number one, the folks at Lost recommended this board as a quad. So quads have a tendency for me to be really fast down the line, but then they kind of make a real round turn. And what I'm looking for is, I don't mind a round carved turn when I want it, but I also want it to be pivotal. And to my surprise, it was the perfect combination for this board for me, because I felt like I had a ton of speed and the transition, transition from rail to rail felt great too. So I did try it as a thruster and it pivoted and felt okay, but I have to agree with the guys that lost. This board was super fun as a quad. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review. Look, we had a flat spell for three weeks, one to three foot surf. I had a blast on the puddle fish. Look, if you like the show, subscribe. You can also find us at surfingshow.com and a special shout out thanks to the folks at Lost Surfboards for sending the board down for review. Well, that's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye.